There was a lot of talk about Sauce sticking with Lamb and other elite wide receivers instead of staying within the Jets' normal defensive scheme. Oh, I wonder who started that. What is your opinion on Sauce traveling with one guy? Listen, Salah addressed it. He said in his system that they don't travel, they play left to right, and they don't play a lot of man-to-man. -man. The issue is when Michael Carter goes down and Echoes is in, it's where's the fish, right? And you have to understand, whenever you give somebody an absolute, you tell them something that you don't do, it allows teams to game plan around it. That's just simple as it is, right? So you saw it in the first game. When they wanted to get Stephon Diggs off, they put him in a slot. They put him in a bunch. They kept him away from your best player. So, I mean, your best player is, is if, you, if your best player can't be your best player, like, listen, and, and systems, all systems are different. Reeves went everywhere, right? <laughs> Reeves it, Island. It, 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 didn't, it didn't matter, right? Uh, like, in Baltimore, Chris McAllister, we locked him down, went everywhere. Now, if that's not your system, understand that your system has a flaw and that people are going to try and exploit that flaw. Now, it's up to you to decide if you can live with that flaw and say, hey, we play enough and good enough, and we have belief in Michael Carter, we got belief in everybody else. But when they go on a 13, 13 catches before incompletion, we have to answer, why didn't you take the guy, the only guy that can really hurt you, because they were missing another 1,000-yard receiver in Brandon Cooks. So you take CeeDee Lamb away, what does Dyke Prescott look like then? That's fair criticism.